Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a long time. Um, just school started, and I just don't know why I posted. I just didn't feel like it, and that's no excuse for me not uploading. But I'm starting again, and we were at 19 subscribers, and this channel has only been around for a month. So that's pretty good, and we are one subscriber away from hitting 20 subscribers, which is going to be insane when we do it. But instead of buying something from the WWE shop, I'm going to do a Q&A. So c comment down below what questions you have, or do it on my Instagram. My Instagram is Nick underscore forever 13, or do it, add me on Snapchat and ask me a question. My Snapchat is Nicholas dash burton so ask me some questions i'm gonna do that when i hit 20 subscribers so let's get into the tuesday night smackdown match endings and I, if i seem a bit low it's because i don't have my chair by my desk so yeah so i'm not gonna do any of like the promos like the beginning promo uh the miss tv and alexa bliss's celebration because she won the divas women's championship match <clears throat> and also before we get into the video, another reason we I haven't been uploading that much is because I don't have a lot of storage left on my phone, and that's what I record with. I got like 900 megabytes left. YouTube takes up like four, and my photos is like 40, so I'm trying to figure out a way to get more space. If you guys have any ideas, comment down below. And pardon my... A uh, messy room. I'm going to pick it up after this video. But to start off SmackDown, we had a tag team champions. Now, on Sunday, it was the TLC pay-per-view, and the Wyatt family became the tag team champions. So, and the the tag team champions are Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton, so it's not Randy Orton and Luke Harper. So the Wyatt family, the champions, versus the Beauty and Man Beast, which is Rhino and Heath Slater. They had to claim their rematch clause. And who I wanted to win was, uh, I wanted Heath Slater and Rhino to take back their titles. But I, but I kind of knew that the Wyatt family was going to retain, um, but... Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt made the tag, closed line Heath Slater, went for the sister Abigail, but he tagged in Randy Orton, and when he was doing the sister Abigail, he kind of spinned him, threw him to Randy Orton, Randy Orton RKO'd him, one, two, three. So I'm going to go turn off my TV and shut my door, hold on. So that was the first match. The White family retained their title. So then it was Natalia versus Carmella. Um, not a pretty big match to me tonight. Uh, I wanted Carmella to win. So let's see. So the match didn't actually happen. So they kind of brawled at the beginning of the match. So it didn't start. And then they come on. Carmella. Carmella slapped Natalia, and then she ran away to Natalia running backstage. So the match didn't happen after all, but it wasn't a big match to me. So, uh, and then it was the Ascension versus the Hype Bros. First time we've seen Ascension for a while, because I don't have the WWE Network, so I can't watch NXT, which is great, which I really want to. Um, the Ascension versus the High Bros. Victor went for a roll up, but Mojo Wally made the tag, then the High Bros. Then the High Drop for the three count. So the High Bros won, and I wanted them to win. And then it was Baron Corbin versus Kalisto. And if you're wondering why I'm looking down, I have the match results right here. So Baron Corbin versus Kalisto. I wanted Kalisto to win, but I knew Baron Corbin was going to win. And he did. So Kalisto did a moonsault off the top rope on the outside of the ring. So that's pretty impressive. And then he went back into the lane, delivered a tornado DDT. We all thought he had him, but no, he kicked out. And then Baron Corbin delivered the end of days for the th for the win. All right. <clears throat> so now we have American Alpha versus Breezango. 
So, Chad Gable delivered a suplex into a bridge, one, two, three. Pretty simple match. I did want them to win. And then The Miz, who's the champion, versus Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental Championship. And the reason this match is happening is because on Miz TV, um, Dean Ambrose Dirty D James Ellsworth because he lo- he made him lose the title at TLC. So then Danny Bryan came out and said that you two are going to have a match for the Intercontinental Championship. So that's why I did this match. So... The Miz delivered a running knee to Ambrose. Then James Ellsworth came running out for Dean Ambrose. Came out. The Miz going was going for the figure four. But then James Ellsworth got on the apron. Dean rolls up the Miz. Should have got the three count, but the ref was distracted. Then Dean Ambrose was distracted. So the Miz delivered the school crushing finale for the win. And in my opinion, outside interference sucks. That's that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be posting daily. I hope again. See you tomorrow with my WWE news. I'll see you guys later.